Another group thought of a robot sheep. But I was just thinking, if a robot sheep, if a robot sheep could get around a place with power, maybe I could build a robot chicken to give power instead of use power. The children from the Year 5 classes um, have been working on their network of the future. And so I've come back today to actually see what wonderful creative work they've actually done as to what that network of the future is actually going to look like. Uh, today we're putting sort of everything together, so it's a bit of a <laughs> maker's space at the moment, yeah. It's a non-stop like, circuit of electricity, so chicken goes in, out, picks up electricity, in and out again. We've got some very um, innovative ideas, definitely. We've got a use of a lot of different uh, farm animals. We built um, a farmhouse in like a remote area, so we have a few solar panels, a few wind turbines, we have a lake for hydroelectricity, and we have batteries with wires underground, which leads into the house because if it's not sunny, the solar panels won't work, if it's not windy. The wind, the wind turbines won't work, so we have hydroelectricity and then electricity from the batteries as a backup. One of my favourite and most interesting ones would be uh, sheep um, that are wrapped in thermal blankets that then generate electricity through their heat that then charges batteries that can then be utilised. <laughs> you learn by doing. You know, so it's actually doing and learning at the same time. More than I used to. Like, more. What types of electricity are there? How it's made? Um, what does it do? Now it's way different. Like, if I look at a wire, I'll just think about how, where it came from, how they supplied it. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> You know, these kids are our future and they could be future Western Power employees. So what types of ideas are they going to come up with as to what this network's going to look like? Robot chicken. I, I thought, whoa, that must be so hard to come up with the idea of a 3D printer. And then we watched videos on people 3D printing houses and I'm like, that's dedication. <laughs> We go to SciTech in two weeks. We're going to SciTech with all the other schools that have participated as well. Um, we'll be taking some of the kids with us and the idea is that we'll present our ideas and see what the other kids have come up as well. <laughs> I'd like to see that. 